Hey guys, I'm Mike from Guildford Custom, based here at the world famous Guildford Harley Davidson. It's 2023, it's the 12th of January, it's cold, it's wet, but there's a lot going on. And we thought we'd bring a new series to the YouTube channel for this year. This is called Behind the Door. Come on in. There's a lot happening at Guildford Harley Davidson at the moment, especially in Guildford Custom in the custom shop. We've got a lot of bikes in progress, and we thought today we'd take you through some of those and show you what's been going on. I guess the best place to start is a workshop. Let's go and talk to some of the techs. So this is where, to coin the MTV Cribs phase, this is where the uh, magic happens. So we've got a few projects on the go at the moment. Uh, probably the first one to talk to is Will, who's working on this Road King for us. This is a bit of a nice build, really. Will, what, what have you been up to with this one, buddy? This week we've been doing a few bits. We've stripped the engine down and we've sent the lower rock covers away for paint, along with the front and rear brake calipers. Some of these rear adjustable rolling suspension. And we put in lighting on the rear saddlebags here, 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 basically sides and ribs. So this lighting's all from Custom Dynamics, isn't yeah, it? Right. So um, these replace your reflectors and they will light up so they're running lights. Back here you've got these lid lights. Now these work as an indicator and a stop tail light. Um, the nice thing is when you hit the indicator they stripe across which is really, really cool. Uh, we're replacing this, aren't we, Will, with a US domestic market uh, wing and then putting in new halo lights, aren't we? So we've got LED smoke lenses as well to match. Yes. Bit about this motor, we're not just stage one it, are we? We're no. stage two it. No. So you've chucked a cam in here already, haven't you? Cam. Which cam did you go for, the torque? Yes. Torque cam, so that'll give a nice power through the entire rev range. This bike should be ready pretty soon, uh, which means we'll have a full custom bike walk around video coming up on YouTube for you shortly on this one. Great work, Will. I can't wait to see it finished, mate. We've got this uh, fat boy just over here, which doesn't look like much at the moment, um, but this is a project that's been ongoing for a little while, and we're gonna take you over to Image Design Custom, our painters, have a look at the paint work for this bike and stuff like that. Full custom bike walk around video for this bike coming soon, but you can see we've already installed the wheels, brakes, front end, all this lovely Empire billet, footboards and bits and pieces, which is really, really cool. Got this fantastic trike on the go down here at the moment, which Dave is working on. Coined it the Punisher trike, uh, only because you've got the Punisher logo in the wheel centers. So we took a 2022 FLRT freewheeler, completely blacked it out because obviously they come mostly polished. Gold wheels, proper gold as well. Upgraded the motor, and then obviously our signature really is to gold out or, or signature color the motor. So you've got black lifters, black pushrod tubes, gold collars, gold lower rockers this brilliant Art Deco Harley Davidson logo and uh, Image Design matched that up with the FLRT logo that they've done on the side here. This um, having quite a few upgrades on it, including a reverse gear, a proper mechanical reverse gear. Obviously the freewheeler comes with a electrical reverse gear based on the starter motor. This will be a really nice buy when it's finished for the guy. Um, we'll give you a full walkthrough on that one uh, when it's done. Stuff that we've recently finished up, we've got this beautiful fat boy that's under the cover here. Can't show you it yet, but if you come to the MC... <laughs> telephone. <laughs> See these guys? These guys don't help me at all. They just laugh at me all the time. It's not helpful. It's not helpful. <laughs> You'll be able to see this bike unveiled at the XL Motorcycle Show in London, middle of February. So make sure you come to the Harley Davidson stand and check it out. Speaking of finished up projects, this Pan America Special, you will have seen this. This came out, well, this will come out this week when we're filming, uh, but obviously you'll have already seen this in the custom walk around videos on our YouTube channel. So um, make sure you check it out. Uh, link in the description if you missed it. And then our good friend Terry, his Lowrider S is back in for part three of its customization journey. It's gonna be all the cosmetics now, paint, gonna color match the wheels to the motor and the bars, all those sorts of bits and pieces. There's loads going on. We've got bikes sitting out the back in several stages waiting to be pulled apart, which is really, really cool. We're still banging out these fantastic sports dresses. This one belongs to our good friend Lee. Simple bits, done the, the, the Rick's indicators, front and rear conversion, blacked out the mufflers and the header naturally put our logo on the back. We've got a bike that we're doing with Jekyll and Hyde exhaust systems. And funny enough, Dan and I are gonna take that paint over to Image Design now. So let's do that. Made it over to Image Design Custom. It's still miserable out here. Love January in the UK. 
So we got the Road King. Yeah. So this is the lower rockers, yeah. push rod collars, okay. and brake calipers, all to go, all to go gloss bright red. Yep. This is the Sportster kit for Which Jekyll and Hyde. It's going in the uh, Renault yellow. Yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah, Renault liquid yellow. All right, Mike, do you want to give us a hand load of some of the stuff yeah, in the mate. booth? Yeah, mate. Let's get yeah do you want to grab booth. some of them? Cheers, buddy. So for you guys that don't know, this is Steve. Steve's one of the governors here at Image Design. So um, how did Image Design get started, Steve? I got into the bike painting. I was a car painter for years. Got into bike painting about 20 years ago. Obviously, I worked at another company, and that's where I met Tom. And we got talking one day, and then basically hatched it. Thought, you yeah, know, we want to do this for ourselves. So. It's our actual 15th anniversary this year, so we've been doing it for 15 years now. For those of you who don't know, we found the Guildford Custom in 2009. Steve's been painting for us since day one. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah. Cool. So That's yeah, it. it's nice we've all sort of come up together. It has, it? you know, and we're still all in it and we're still passionate about it, which is great. Yeah, um, I still get a kick out of this stuff. And yeah. I mean, you know, e even the, the simplest of jobs is still enjoyable. It but is, yeah. It's like I just said to man, you know, beats having a real job, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's nice. And it's, it's good to see the customers' reactions as well when, see them, when they yeah. come and pick their bikes up and that. This might look like a standard fat boy fender, which I mean it is. But we've actually modified this. We've probably taken about three inches out of this and then added this bead in just to show off more of the rear tire. That will become apparent when the bike goes back together and you'll see that in the walk around video that will be coming up in the next couple of months or so. I'll uh, let you do this lacquering process so you can tell us what we're gonna, gonna do. Right, so this is panel wipe. So this just removes any fingerprints or any oil or contaminants that might be on there. Basically, people uh, have been eating Doritos. Yeah, and that's it. People have just had their lunches and touch things and stuff. So it just gives it. And also, it's another chance to just check over, make sure you're happy with everything, make sure nothing's been missed. Um, like when you flatted it down, you might have cut through on a little edge, one of the sharp edges or something like that. Okay. And it could do. And obviously, you want to do it at this stage. You don't want to be lacquering it. Otherwise, you've got to flat it all again and lacquer it all again. So it's just another little chance to check things over, make sure you're happy with them. And then what I shall do then, I shall obviously switch the booth on, start warming the panels up. So this is this this an oven, isn't it? Yeah, this is a yeah, low bake oven, yeah. Low bake oven. So yeah. this gets up to what sort of temperature? Well, we, we, we don't bake mega high. We only bake at 60 degrees. Okay. Um, which is what the paint manufacturers recommend. So it doesn't damage anything. It doesn't get any too hot, etc. But the, um, the clear coats we use now, they, they've come on a long way. They're a lot really advanced. They're only a sort of a 10 minute bake oh, okay. at 60 degrees and they're fully cured. Blimey, that's really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it means we can get the throughput through. We can get stuff out a lot quicker. Speaking of, uh, speaking of deadlines, I mentioned that we're um, going to have that custom fat boy that was under the cover. Um, that's going to be available at the MCN show. And um, yeah, Steve, I need that. Sports yep. to done for yeah. MCN as well, mate. Yeah, so, no, that, that um, is. Um, sorry to put pressure on no, you. No, that's, that's going to yeah. go straight into prep, prep tomorrow, so we'll Perfect. be on that that's tomorrow. That's the reality of this yeah. stuff, really. Um, sometimes you're just on a tight deadline, but these guys always get it done, that's why we come. We to do. We, we actually, I think we always work better under pressure, to be honest with Hell you. Yeah. Everything seems to flow better. Thanks for joining me for the first episode of Behind the Door. I'm gonna try and put these out monthly so you can see what we're up to, all the different bikes and the different stages. I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Lynn Motorcycles YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you get a uh, notification every time we post a video. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you in episode two.